And uh, the man that everybody loves at happy hour is Nick Spink, who is the owner of Artisan on Alamo Distillery. And, we're, you know, we're kind of getting into fall. Summer's yep. always the, you know, it's the, the margaritas and the light drinks and everything. All the fruity drinks. All the fruity drinks like with yep. umbrellas and everything. Yep. Now we're just getting kind of getting into the, the warm sort of comfort Especially drinks, Especially right? the great weather right now. Yeah. So okay. something good for the weekend. And we're starting off with the classic because you're known for making your vodka. Yes. Like no other vodka that you can find anywhere else, right? Very unique vodka and stuff like that. But everybody's asking about the traditional martini. So let's make a very traditional martini. Right now, we've already chilled a martini glass. All right. And, and in here, we're actually going to do a, let's do an eight, uh, eight count of vodka. Ooh, one, two, so three, you're, four, You're putting five, in six, about four seven, or five eight. ounces on this. Okay. Okay. And then what you want to do on this vermouth is in the chilled glass, pour a little bit of vermouth in that glass. Yeah. So, and then you're going to take that glass and you swish it around. Rather than pouring it in the drink, and you're usually pouring too much, you're actually pouring it around, so swish it around, hit okay. the legs, and then go ahead and toss that out. And a lot of people don't realize vermouth is actually a wine, isn't it? Right. It's a dry wine. Okay. So it'll grab a hold of the glass and so toss right, that out. And, and if that, toss it away. What you'll see is the legs on there, it actually will have a perfect measure on the bottom. Okay. So now we just shake this shake up a little bit up. to get a nice. Now, and if cold. you want a dirty martini, you're actually adding brine and stuff like that, olive brine in there. But this is a dry martini, so we're adding the remove. And so just, just pour it on in there. And people don't realize that martinis are pure either vodka or gin, and then you get a nice milky thing. But that's okay. because the ice. Now, the olives. There's three olives that go in there. Okay. Do you know what they stand for? You had told me, I, I didn't know there was any reason for it. I just thought it was because it looks really cool sitting there in the glass like that. It's actually that. Uh, life, love, and happiness. So uh. there's an old tradition on this. So this is a true martini. And there's just nothing cooler than a martini in a martini glass like that. Right. And if it's, if it's onions, then it's a uh, Gibson, right? Yes. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, okay. Ready for the weekend. What's next? <laughs> So next one here, um, it's called Sunday Fun Day. So what we're going to do is really, really fun drink. It's the vodka. We're mm -hmm. actually going to keep on doing the vodka. Go ahead and put it in the shaker. One, um, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay. And then put the same amount of coffee in there. Oh. So. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Then go ahead and shake that up. And you're just chilling it, basically. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put it over ice cream. And this is a great, nice d little dessert drink, stuff like that. So it almost sounds like a, almost like a black Russian. Yeah. Kind of like, except kind of. Uh, obviously so without the So rather than the cream of the black Russian, you actually do an ice cream. And Kahlua, it's, it's yeah. the coffee in there, so which is a coffee liqueur anyway, so. Yeah. So if you don't want it as alcoholic, you can do Kahlua also. Ooh. Ah, ah, that's a nice little dessert. Oh, yeah. Coffee and dessert all mixed in together. Now, you are debuting something, and this isn't even for sale yet. It is your new... Bourbon. It's my new bourbon, yes. And all bourbon is whiskey, but not all whiskeys are bourbons. And why is that? Because the most of it is corn in this. So okay. it is aged, an aggressive age, and it's equivalent to two years aged. Okay. So. And you are going to have a party to debut that coming up next, next week. week. Next Thursday, Friday, Saturday from 5 to midnight. All right. And so. if somebody would like to attend that party, you have a special going on, right? Yes. Also, I have tours of my distillery, so uh, we're opening that up for the first 10 people that contact me. Uh, there's a tour, it takes about an hour, and it shows you how we make our whiskey and vodkas and everything like that. Okay, and the party is going on, once again, it is next, you said Wednesday? Thursday, Friday, next, and Saturday. Thursday, Friday, so it's a whole weekend for whole weekend. party. Okay, and you get to taste the, the new bourbon, which again, this is the first time it's ever been... I'm debuting it here on SA Live because I love y'all. Okay, fantastic. Well, for all of these great recipes, and if you'd like more information about that party, go to salive.com and head click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, and Nick Spink from Artisan on Alamo Distillery. Thank you very much.